At a meeting with board chairs of all state-run institutions at the Jubilee House, President Okufado expressed disgust at the numerous infractions recorded by the Auditor General against state-run institutions. The Auditor General's report for the year 2021 accused ministries, departments and agencies as well as state-run institutions of misappropriating over 17 billion Ghana cities. Nana Okufado says SIGA and the Auditor General must collaborate to find out what caused these infractions. I believe all of you have read the 2021 Auditor General's report and have seen the numerous infractions stated on the part of the specified entities. The report clearly shows an increase in infractions, which demands answers from all of you here. Let us remember, the specified entities have been set up to provide efficient public services, promote public economic activities, and contribute to our GDP. I'm directing the Director General of SIGA to work with the Auditor General to drill down to the causes of the infractions, identify persons responsible, and make the necessary recommendations as prescribed by law. I'm giving them four weeks from now to submit a report to the Chief of Staff. Deputy Finance Minister Abna Osei Asari on her part accused some state-owned enterprises of failing to submit their audited accounts to the Finance Ministry as required by law. She wants the President to intervene. Another key point I would like to raise in the presence of His Excellency is the issue of submission of audited financial statements as stipulated by law. The Public Financial Management Act 2016, Act 921, gives a deadline of end of April each year for the delivery of audited financial statements of SOEs. As we sit here, government has received the 2021 audited financial statements from only 30 entities out of 176 specified entities. We do not intend to name and shame here, but to demonstrate the extent of some underlying issues we face in the sector, which must be adequately addressed. Board Chairman of the Ghana Port and Harbors Authority, Dr. Isaac Osei, who spoke on behalf of all board chairpersons, urged the President to call to order CEOs and MDs who undermine the work of board chairpersons. We also want to recommend a national discourse on the retirement age and remuneration of public sector workers. Mr. President, there's one key challenge that a number of my colleagues have urged me to flag for your attention. It is felt that some of our CEOs take advantage of having direct access to the executive and take issues relating to their entities there without recourse to their board. Reporting lines are thus blurred and sometimes not respected. Mr. President, again, let me retreat our appreciation for this meeting and your good vision and intentions for our country and for the opportunity accorded us to serve Ghana.